Continental crust and oceanic crust are different in many ways, including thickness and elevation. Because of this and other differences, there are steep inclines and unique sedimentation systems in areas where the two types of crust meet. The system that I will be talking about is known as continental slope and rise. In continental slope and rise systems, mass flows of debris and sediment are frequently set off by disturbances like tectonic activity. They are kept in motion by gravity until they run out of energy and their materials are deposited. These processes create what we call submarine fans and slope aprons. Submarine fans and slope aprons are both sedimentary structures deposited by mass flows bringing sediment from the continental shelf to the ocean basin. The difference between the two is that slope aprons form along whole stretches of the continental shelf, whereas submarine fans have point sources. Submarine fans form in places where mass flows are funneled through a submarine canyon and into the ocean basin. The sizes and shapes of submarine fans vary, but they are typically fan or lobe shaped structures with channels running over them, showing paths that mass flows favor. While submarine fans are similar to river deltas and are often found near river delta systems, they are very different, not just because they're in the ocean, but because they are primarily created by mass flows instead of fluvial deposits. If a mass flow is dense, laminar, has a high viscosity and the sed sediment is poorly sorted, it can be called a debris flow. This image shows a debris flow deposit. While it is not a submarine debris flow deposit like the ones I am talking about in this video, it is a good illustration of the sediments that they could potentially carry and how poorly sorted these flows can be. Debris flows in submarine environments, as well as the primary sedimentary structures and their deposits, are different from those on land because of the amount of water available for them to mix with. The fine grains in the flow can mix with water around them and become suspended. These will take more time to settle than the coarse grains do which means that submarine debris flow deposits will typically have some lamination or grading. Debris flows often happen within confined areas like submarine canyons, which keep grain pressure high and prevent mixing with water to a certain degree. Without these restrictions, a debris flow would become diluted and turn into a turbidity current, but we will discuss those later. Like the canyons seen on land, submarine canyons are deeply eroded features on continental crust. They are carved into the continental margins 
often by currents coming from river deltas, and they play a very important role in slope rise systems because they guide the movement of water and sediment. And because they do this, they are an essential part of creating submarine fans. In this diagram, it is very easy to see the relationship between the two. So coming back to turbidity currents, if a mass flow is more diluted and turbulent, it can be called a turbidity current. Turbidity currents are also mass flows driven by gravity, but they represent a lower energy, lower density, turbulent flow that leaves behind deposits called turbidites. Debris flows can become turbidity currents when they move out of their canyons and into more open areas like submarine fans. This is because they are able to mix with more water and become more diluted and lose grain pressure due to being out in the open. Because turbidity currents do not have as much energy as debris flows do, they are better at sorting sediment rather than picking everything up and mixing it together indiscriminately. They leave behind graded deposits, dropping larger clasts first, then smaller and smaller clasts as the flow loses velocity and as suspended sediment is allowed to settle. After the flows have been deposited, they are usually either left in place or they could be reworked by geostrophic currents or contour currents. A geostrophic current is a current influenced by the Coriolis force or the rotation of the earth to move along isobars of equal pressure rather than follow the pressure gradient into low pressure areas above. Contour currents occur at the bottom of an ocean basin, meaning that they are below the wave base and are too deep to be moved by wind. They move parallel to the continental margins or other topographical features on the seafloor. A contourite is a rock formed from sediment deposited by contour currents. Currents like these will often rework sediments and form ripples, but there is also evidence that they can be forceful enough to weather bedrock and transport sediment. During benthic storms, these currents will often be pushed up against the continental margins, but instead of moving up or over the continental slope, the dense water will move energetically and stir up a lot of sediment.